Hi, this is uh, Mr. Schneider again. This is uh, Unit 2, Podcast 7. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, how you register to vote in Virginia, and we're going to look at reasons people don't vote, and then factors that uh, influence voting. So let's talk about, uh, begin talking about uh, with how you, uh, who can vote in Virginia. Uh, you have to be a citizen of the United States. You have to be a resident of Virginia in the precinct in which you are voting. So for example, I live in a precinct that votes at Lorton Station Elementary School. That means the only place I can vote in Virginia is in Lorton Station. I can't go up to Laurel Hill Elementary. I can't go to the, over to the high school and vote. I can only vote at Lorton Station Elementary School. Uh, you have to be at least 18 years uh, of age and you have to register at least 22 days before the election is held. If you met all those requirements, you are able to vote in the state of Virginia. We're going to look at three things that uh, we can use to predict whether or not someone can vote. The first thing is education. The more education you have, the more likely you are to vote. Meaning, if you have a college degree, you're more likely to vote than somebody that only has a um, high school diploma. Second one is age. The older someone is, the more likely to vote. So I am more likely to vote than somebody that just graduated from high school. Uh, but somebody who is my parents' age, my parents are in their late 60s, they're more likely to vote than somebody that is my age, someone in their 40s. And then the last uh, factor you can use to predict whether somebody will vote is income. The more money someone makes, the more likely they are, they are to vote. And that's something that we'll look at uh, in class. I have uh, some t statistics I want to share with you on that. OK. Um, now, how do you register to vote in Virginia? There's two different ways you can register. You can do it in per person at the voting registrar's office. You can do it at the DMV. And there's other sites that you can vote. A lot of people uh, register to vote when they are renewing their driver's license, getting their driver's license for the first time. And then you can also register by mail. Uh, at present, you cannot register through the internet. And then let's talk about reasons that people don't vote. Uh, lack of interest. They just they don't care. Um, let's look at uh, some statistics here. That's not what I wanted. OK. Uh, in, in the year 20, let's go back to 2008. There were 5,000. 5,034,000 people registered to vote. 3.7 million people voted. If you go back to 2009, there's about there's 4.9 million people registered to vote. About 2 million voted. 2010, there's a little over 5 million people registered and about 2.2 million people actually voted. So obviously a lot more people voted in 2008 than voted in 2009 and 10. If you look at the percentages, 2008 the percentage is 74.5, 2009 it drops down to 40.4, 2010 it goes up to it's a, at about 44.01 percent. Why? Again, because of the election that's being held. A lot more people vote in presidential elections than vote in state and local elections. And as we'll look at, it should be the other way around. Local politics affects us a lot more than national politics. But unfortunately, that's not reflected in voting. Okay, let's go ahead and put this back up. Um, people don't register to vote. They forget to register, or they don't want to register. And then, as I just said, the percentage of people who vote in presidential elections is usually, as we just saw, much greater than the percentage of people who vote in local elections, which is sad because you know, as I keep saying, every vote is important. Every election is important to vote in. Okay, those are our notes for today. Um, I would ask, first off, thank you for watching these. And I would ask that you continue to bring in your uh, presidential flyers. I've gotten a couple, but as you get those in the mail, please bring them in so that I can start displaying them in the room. Uh, thanks again for all your hard work, and uh, have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow in class.